Many patients will complain of a floater, and these may be patients that have diabetes or not have diabetes. Inside the eye, there's a gel that fills up the space inside uh, of the volume of the eye. As we get older, this gel, which in a child may have the consistency of jello gelatin, shrinks so that when someone is in their 80s and 90s, it's almost a total liquid. But as this gel is shrinking, it can actually form little opacities or little cloudy spots within the gel. These little cloudy spots create a shadow on the retina. And we interpret them as a little floater. Some folks feel like, gee, there's a little bug that keeps floating around in front of me or perhaps inside my eye. And that's the, the feeling that you get when you have one of these little floaters that has formed in the gel. That in itself is of no significance. Uh, most people have that, and it's typically more noticeable uh, in certain times of day, depending on the lighting circumstance. On the other hand, if as that gel is shrinking, it starts pulling on the inside lining of the eye, the retina, it can actually cause the retina to detach. And in that process, there can be a few drops of blood inside the eye, which can then give you the sensation of floaters, or it can cause little pieces of the retina to come off, and that can give the sensation of a floater, or it can cause the retina, part of the retina to come off, and the retinal detachment, and that gives you the sensation of a shade or a curtain coming down or across your sight. So having a floater by itself, especially if you've had it for a long time and there's been no change, is typically of no, nothing to worry about. On the other hand, onset of a new floater, or many floaters particularly, especially if it was preceded by flashing lights and then followed by a curtain or a shade coming down across your sight, those are signs of a retinal detachment and you need to be evaluated fairly soon, like within a day or so.